to be a Sam's Club member, but I'm not a Sam's Club member, so I just, um, what's it called? So I just started, like, walking into the store, and I was just asking the lady, like, where's the line for the pickup? And she was like, oh, um, over there. And I was just like, okay. So, let me see. I just saw the guy who's doing the little excursion. He's here shopping in the store, so I kind of feel bad because I rushed him. But I need to look for some sunscreen. I'm just gonna get this one, even though it's like too much sunscreen. Like, who the fuck is gonna be using all this sunscreen? But, whatever. The first stop was this little store where we're buying some fruits and vegetables for the meal. This part is a little bit interesting because I did see other people say they got to go on the excursion of the hot springs and they got to make the tortillas and other people said they got to see how the history of tortillas was made and stuff like that mine wasn't like that at all it was just like going grocery shopping and oh we're stopping to get tortillas but we stopped at a local shop which is cool because you know you're supporting the locals and everything but i did want to make tortillas kind of that's why i booked this excursion because i thought i was gonna get to make tortillas and then go to the hot springs and then go to the massage honestly it's fine though because it's not like that big of a deal it's not like i can't make tortillas at home it's just that you know it's I, that's what i thought i was getting but i only thought that because i was watching other people's videos and that's just i'm putting this out there so you know what to experience maybe you will get the shop tortilla shop how to make it maybe you won't just keeping that out there so you know so it's not a tortilla shop it's actually just a tortilla place so the water comes from here oh shit that's really hot <laughs> so the volcanoes make the water hot but these hot springs like they are organized and they go through pipes so it's not just like flooding hot water and basically what happens is you pick a hot spring that is not hot because you want it to be kind of like cold not cold but like warm at least like room temperature water because once they turn on the pipe to let the hot water come in it will get super hot in there and it will be uncomfortable so they'll let you know that when you go there but i just was i put that video and i was like wait there's no context of what is happening it's just that we were testing out the waters and which one i preferred so once you find the hot springs that you like you come and this is the one that i chose because it's really like cold they have like changing rooms and oh the reason why i chose it because it's cold is because you turn on the water and then it gets hot so the more water that's in it the hotter it is so these hot springs actually come from a volcano that warms up the water and then it goes through these pipes and the pipes cool it down and through the water and stuff like that so i was lucky that a little bench came with my place and there's like a little barbecue grill area right there and you can go over there as well but i really like the one that i chose because it's kind of far from everybody oh my gosh these mosquitoes are dry fucking gigantic holy shit i don't know if you guys can see them like an idiot i forgot my bikini so we just want to get in the water like this i probably just pussy flash the guy I'm just pussy flash. <laughs> or ass flash, I don't know. Okay, so this is kind of crazy. I was about, I forgot my phone. Um, like, what is it called? I forgot the waterproof case. So this, when they said minerals, I didn't believe, but it actually does feel different. I guess I'm going to the water to the floor. But I don't know. Look at my hair though. My hair looks so pretty. The color. To this day, I think that anybody that can do this is really like cool. To this day, if you can do this, you're super cool. After this, I'm going to get a massage. So I just wanted to take you guys along with me the whole journey, but look at how good my skin looks. Like, I don't know, something about it just looks really nice. Also, the water is nice because I didn't pick a hot one. I picked 
Like I said, I picked one that was kind of cold when I first got in. And the water's been running, and like this side is a little cold. Like, have you ever been in a bathtub? <clears throat> and like, it's you put cold water, and then, or like the water starts to get cold, and then you put hot water, and then it starts to get warm. And that's what it feels like. Like, I could feel half, half cold, half hot. I'm happy that my shirt is not see through. Because that would be sad. I have another dress. But I forgot my bikini, which is sad because I spent like weeks planning this shit. I was like, I'm gonna take pictures, I'm gonna do it. It didn't happen. But you know, um, I'm gonna go to the beach tomorrow with my mom and dad. And so I'll probably wear that bikini there because it's snorkeling. We're gonna go snorkeling in this um, hidden beach. It's, I don't know what the island is called. I'll have to, Mericadas or something like that. Because these mosquitoes are bigger than the ones in Puerto Rico and they're blue. The blue mosquitoes. The fuck? Oh, Look at this. Oh, oh. I lost it. I lost it. It's big. It's big. Oh my god. Look at this shit. Can you see that? Oh my god. That's mosquito. That's scary. They're, they're huge, y'all. They, like, okay, you saw that one was little, but the other ones are fucking huge. So they brought over some fruits and vegetables and lemonade. But, oh, so I picked all of these. Except for oranges, because I don't really like oranges. But jicama is my favorite, favorite in the world. Like, I cannot live without jicama. And if you ever are in California... Or any state close to Mexico. Hikama. Hikama, hikama, hikama. It's so good. I'll put the name of it on the screen. Piña, pineapple, pepinos, cucumbers, mangoes, and star fruit. And I'm going to put some tajin on it. I'm not really a fan of chamoy. I am, but like for certain things, you know? Oh, I forgot to grab this. Um, I need to do something real quick. Okay, so... Tajin is my favorite because it's just too good. You gotta put it on all of it. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna take a picture. First impression of star fruit. Let's go. Okay. Let me try. Let me try. I'm scared. It looks good though. It looks good. I don't know the, um, the name of the fruit that it tastes like, but it's not too sweet, but it's not bitter. It's really good. So after the hot springs, I'm going to go get a massage with the same company. Okay. If you guys want the link to the company, or like what I booked it through is an Airbnb. But I'll put the link in the bio so you guys can like check it out too. So I'm listening to this. It's just this little hole of water that's dripping out. But it sounds so pretty. They brought out guacamole. So I'm finishing up at the pool now. It's gotten really hot. It's like super hot. That bitch is scorching her. Huh? Mm, so, they made like a little meal. And I'm gonna go eat, but I'm just drying off a little bit because I don't want my shirt to be like see through, you know? I don't wanna have my titties out, at least not for the free. At least not here. So, this is my little pool area. I'm gonna come back to pick up the cups and stuff. But here is the changing table or changing room. So, I'm gonna change into my little dress. Oh look, this is 
the sink. How cool. I like that actually, I really do. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna put one of those in my room too. Oh, I love this door. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a tourist. Ew, somebody left their cagados. So, this is what the little changing room looks like. I'm gonna change, but I'm gonna post a video on OnlyFans of me changing. Okay, so I just got dressed. This is what I'm wearing. It's really hot. I have my two have lunch or dinner, I guess. I don't know because I had snacks, but it's okay. Let's just go. Let's just go. This is a little setup. Pineapple, chayote, pollo, carne, quesadilla, cebolla. We're packing up to leave now. That's where we are. And I'm just wanting to show you guys what it looks like before I go. Because once I go, that's it. So let me tell you, I took a shit. Let me tell you, um, this is not only the sink, but that little bucket is to flush the toilet. So I had to flush the toilet like that. And over there, you can walk up there. I didn't feel the need to walk up there, to be honest, because there's like a rancho up there and like a little house to like clean, but I felt like it was more for the employees, but you'll see like the kids and the locals. If you can come here, it costs like 30 something, $35, I think, US. So if you are interested to come here, it costs $35 entrance. But if you want, like, the massage that I'm about to get included and all that stuff. Because um, I had the massage included. And this. And the, like, fare and the food and all that. I'll link it in the bio. They brought out that little floaty for me. I do think y'all should do this. um, Because they do take you whenever you want. And you can stay for however long that you want. And I just feel like it's preferred if you feel like you want something oh look and they have this little shop that you can buy stuff quesadillas hamburgers stuff like that but why would you want to pay extra when you can have somebody cook food for you and again you can come here but i feel like if you're not from here it's gonna be definitely hard so i'll link the booking in the bio that little tea tree hut that you just saw was a place that you could get a massage at the hot springs and you can get food there like I showed you guys. But honestly, to just play it safe, book the excursion with someone that knows the route. And also, and it's not just this, I got to get a massage at the beach and you can hear the sounds of the wave crashing and it was on the beach. So it felt so relaxing. The noise was beautiful. And the lady really took into consideration that I was like so in pain on my shoulders. And she really massaged me and I told her how hard or soft I wanted and she, accommodated to my liking um we came to bucerias to get a massage and that is really exciting because it's on the beach so i just got a really nice massage so i got a really nice massage at the beach and i fell asleep i thought i overstayed my welcome but they were super sweet um i left the lady a little tip because you know it's included but it's just really sweet, you know, if you have it, tip it. And so now I'm drinking some electrolytes. This is kiwi and strawberry. But if you come to Mexico, try the lemon and lime one. It's my favorite. It's the best. It's like, I don't know how to explain the flavor, but it's the best one. Okay, so one really bad thing about Mexico, they don't have any public bathrooms, which is not that bad. They're only like 10 cents or... They're 10 pesos or whatever. But here's the thing. Um, I don't have any pesos on me. I just have like, I have pesos, but I don't have like coins. I have um, effective like cash. I have cash on me. So I have to walk all the way to the place I want to go. I can stop right here and just wait for the bus. But realistically, if I stop, I'm going to piss myself. And I've not been holding my piss for that long. But I know that... I just want to get there. I'm ending my night at the restaurant to eat something like pretty basic. I'm just leaving early tonight because I'm meeting my parents tomorrow at like 7 in the morning for this like boat tour. So I'm kind of embarrassed. 
I don't know if I dropped my card, or like I lost it, or I left it at the house. I want to say I left it at the house because I wasn't thinking about it. Like I went to the doctor, then I went to the pharmacy, and then I like went home, and I didn't think about it. Like I just left it, and I only brought the stuff like I thought I would need, which was just my phone. Because a lot of places do accept Apple Pay. But I'm going to like this authentic, it's not really authentic, but like kind of authentic. So I was like, oh, they're not going to accept Apple Pay. And, and now it's hitting me. They don't accept Apple Pay. They're 12 minutes from my house. But I feel so fucking stupid. I'm like, I told them, can I come back? And they were like, I mean, yeah, the food has not came out, so you're good, don't worry about it. And I was like, okay, I promise I'm coming back. I live close, like, I just have to get my car. So hopefully I can get there and come back. I thought I was getting something small. These people were honestly so trusting and so sweet. So let me tell you, I left my card, and I thought I lost it, but I found it, it was at the house. And I ordered my food already and then i like realized like i was like can i pay with apple pay because i realized i didn't have my card i mean he goes no we only accept card um but it was just they only accept cash but they just got a card machine so they were like we only accept cash but if you have a card we can accept the card too and i was like okay i left i left my wallet at home can i go get it and come back like i live so close i promise you like i'll be back and I didn't live close because I'm on pie, like I'm on my my feet. I'm on my feet, so I'm like, by the time I get to the freaking hotel Airbnb, this is, okay, this, I got this on Expedia, but it's an Airbnb. So by the time I get to the Airbnb and I come back, it's gonna be like 15 minutes. And I was like, fuck, so I started running. And I was like, cause I don't, I told them I was close, you know, and I don't want them to think like, oh, she's not coming back. And then when I got back, like, I don't know if they got mad at the doorman cause he let me in cause they have a doorman and like he lets you in or not. And the doorman was like, no, no, like, no te preocupes, bienvenida. I was like, welcome again. Um, like the door is open for you, like enjoy your meal, whatever. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're so sweet. I came in and he just really like he was so sweet i hope they didn't fire him because then the waiter went outside to talk to him and be like like he looked at me like like kind of like you could tell like they were gonna, they were talking about me because um i didn't have my card so i don't know if they were saying like we gotta watch out for her because she might run off or why did you let her back in because she doesn't have money or whatever um before i finished paying my before i finished eating i just paid my my um bill because i didn't want them to think like I was gonna run off or anything because I don't want to give them that impression I just paid like halfway when I was not done but almost done so I was just like you know so they can have a peace of mind and then they they gave me like a free salad and um a free ice cream I didn't insert the clip because I forgot to but yeah it was just really sweet of them to do that and that, they asked me to leave a review on like Viator or something for them but if you guys want the name of the restaurant I have to look it up. I'll link it in the bio though, okay? Everything will be linked in the bio. So thank you guys for watching and subscribe.